Isaac's been in business since you know 1983. We have um, a core uh, menu of sandwiches that uh, have been around since then, and uh, we innovate all the time with our menu. So basically, you know, sandwiches, salads, um, really good desserts. Um, at this location, really, really, really good coffee and really good breakfast. This is our first. Uh, um, cycle that we've had where we've introduced a breakfast menu so um, we're really excited about that as well yeah the, when the company started the uh, um, Phil Wanger and his buddy Isaac started the restaurant uh, in downtown Lancaster and Isaac is an avid bird watcher so they naturally uh, went with the uh, bird theme and naming the uh, sandwiches after birds so, um, and then as it grew and we got into more vegetarian items and things like that, if you notice also all our vegetarian sandwiches are named after flowers. So <laughs> that, that developed as well. Um, we came downtown uh, uh, partially because we were looking at developing new concepts for Isaac. So this is a new quick serve that we call Fast Casual for Isaacs where um, we called it on the fly for a reason because we can get the food a little faster. We have some new cooking innovations here. Um, and then we also want to be, you know, part of the downtown community. That's where we started. Um, it really helps us thrive and evolve. Um, we give back to the community a lot, so it um, gives us an opportunity to even do that downtown in a city environment. Um, we also want to find, you know, spaces that can fit into the fast casual environment, and the city works really well for that. Uh, this is an exciting day for downtown New York. This is a project that I know Many of us, many of you have been waiting for for many years to see this building transformed. And I think there's no other place in downtown New York where you can really encapsulate in one building all the great things that are happening here. You have new residential units for people that are moving back to the city. You have new retail that is really uh, going to add a lot to our downtown business community. You have an anchor regional chain restaurant that just opened here proving that regional chains do want to invest in downtown New York and invest in our future. And you have developers in the private community who are becoming so sophisticated that they can put together these really complex projects using federal funding, state and local sources, all sorts of partnerships at the local level. So I think Revy Flats and Isaac's choice to come to Revy Flats uh, it's just a really wonderful project that says a lot about downtown York and the excitement that we have here. I want to make sure that I recognize... I want to make sure that I recognize our county commissioners uh, who are right here with us. Yeah, we're hiding. Yeah, we're all right. Doug Hook, Susie Burns, and is Chris still with us? Maybe Chris stuck out. Um, and I, now at this point, I want to turn it over to our mayor, Mayor Brace. Thank you, Salas. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Happy yeah. First Friday. Happy Cinco de Mayo. It's good yeah. to see everyone. Yeah. Yeah. It's downtown New York. It is an honor to be here. Thank you very much, I'm Salas. We want to recognize the other elected officials with us, too. Count, uh, Council President Michael Halfrick and okay. nobody else, our, our staff and the board of Downtown 8. And most importantly, the folks who have invested and said yes to downtown York and making it vibrant and exciting place to be right now. We are honored that you all are here. We thank you for being here. Uh, where's our developer? You guys are the best. Josh and Dylan, Royal Square. Royal Square, y'all. What can we say? <laughs> and work speaks for themselves. Josh Hankey and Dylan Bauer, we appreciate your leadership and all that you're doing in our development community in downtown York, and I'll pitch it to you guys now. Sure. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, this is awesome. This is awesome. Woo! Woo! So, before this, Josh and I were talking about this kind of in a surreal moment that not three years ago, which is not a long time, we were sitting across at Holy Hound drinking Miller Lights. And I know it's, it's you know, sacrilege, but we were. And we were both talking about how Rosa Miller's taken off and how, what do we do with this? And to stand here today with all these people and all that's come together, this plan's been talked about for so long. This is so cool. So I, we could not have done this without our team. A lot of our guys are here. Thank you guys. We got Davian Nagel over here took this project on when it was a mess. Our team cleared it up. 
We got people here like Ben and Natalie, who there's a lot of behind the scenes to bring a group like Isaacs here, and everybody worked together. It was awesome to see this come together, to get assembled. Uh, I'd like to call you guys out and get up here if you could. Bob, you were there. We worked real hard, Natalie, get up here. And we worked so hard because we wanted Isaacs, and it happened. Yeah, I just want to thank everyone who has been involved with trying to make this change. I mean, this has been a long time coming. Uh, ever since I moved back to York in 2008, many of us have been talking about this property. We've been across the street looking at this property saying, can't we do something with this? And finally it's happened and it's because, it's because of a conglomeration of so many different people and so many different funders. Thank you Community First Fund. Uh, and with that, I'll turn it over to Joe Bollinger with Community First Fund. Well, thank, thank you. you. Okay. In, uh, in 2014, Community First Fund received $30 million in new market tax credits, and $8.75 million went into this project. We are so proud to work with a visionary such as Josh. Um, what he does for the city of York, taking blighted properties like this and putting new life back into them, creating jobs, bringing businesses downtown and creating new apartments. Thank you so much, uh, all of Royal Square Development. Um, we're just excited for all the energy in the community. Thank you. Yay! So we're going to have Jane Gannon over here, General Manager. You want to say a few words to Mike Weaver? Absolutely. Um, I, I, my sentiments are about the same when uh, it's been about a year and a half when I first walked through this building with this guy over here and to, to imagine that it came into this is just it's pretty pretty darn amazing and to get to this point where you know I have a staff and we're serving food it's just it's so exciting we're so excited to be in downtown York and you know after this is done if you're all hungry please come <laughs> and I'm going to turn it over to Mike, who is our president of our company. Well, I think it's pretty special that the sun came out just yeah. for a ribbon cutting. And uh, when we first started looking at this, I'm sorry, the allergies took my voice. But there's so much interesting architecture in downtown. And when you take a case of looking at the next hundred years, this is a good economic investment. Downtown is a smart economic investment when you take the long view. And it's, it's already coming back and going to continue to come back. And so we're glad to be part of it. Our roots were in downtown. That's where Isaac started in Lancaster. And this is coming back to our roots, but bringing new innovation on a different type of concept that we're bringing. And so it just seems fitting for our entrepreneurial roots as a company. So we're glad to be here. Thanks.